Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be talking about uh, Materia and FF7 uh, Rebirth, specifically AI Materia. Um, going from Remake to Rebirth we got uh, some new Materia specifically for your AI party members to do things on their own. In uh, Remake we only have Auto Cure and Provoke. Um, Auto Cure got replaced basically and provoke still exists uh, but with uh, if I go in the inventory to my materials with uh, rebirth we got the new autocast material and this is basically the replacement for auto, auto cure uh, it's better but also worse in some ways um, then we also got if we go down, uh, we got auto unique ability. This allows the AI to use the triangle abilities of the characters. Only two of these, unfortunately. Would like to have had more, but it's fine. And then the last one, we got auto weapon ability. This allows them the AI to use weapon abilities. Um, important note with this one is it doesn't work for uh, command materials like chakra, ATP boost, uh, stuff like that. It's only weapon abilities and you have to have them assigned on the shortcut menu. Uh, but anyway, these three materials actually have a bit more to them than you may think and that's why I wanted to make this specific video going over the AI materials. Um, so we're gonna just do this uh, one by one. So the first one we're gonna go over is Autocast. Like I said, this basically replaces Auto Cure. Uh, unlike Auto Cure, it doesn't have a use limit, and when you level it up, it gives a nice uh, small magic boost. Uh, that you, yeah, then so your magic is a bit more powerful. But it's, since it's a blue material, you have to link it so it uses two slots. Uh, in Remake, Auto Cure is just one slot, and some people may think that you need it a healing material, but you don't. You can just have Auto Cure, and that works on its own. Uh, but Auto Cast is a bit different. It uh, doesn't just work for Cure, it works for all sorts of magic. But um, overall, I would say from the three new ones, it's I would say the weakest one, but it does have an important use if you use it with uh, auto unique ability. And that's the one I'm going to go over next. I'll actually show this on my uh, characters. I don't bear it. Yeah. Auto unique. And like, as you can see, it's actually linked uh, with HP absorb. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to make the video because I only found that out. Not too long ago in my first playthrough, I had no idea um, because the game doesn't actually say it that it does, but it works. But yeah, auto unique ability, I would say, is a really good one to have on um, specifically Cloud actually, uh, because the AI, the AI is really good with Punisher mode, getting uh, parries in and uh, using it uses Berserk uh, as well and just does a lot more damage. Uh, if you like to switch your characters up, I really recommend having it on Cloud, uh, personally. But I also have it on Barret. Um, it does a good amount of damage, and I have it with HP Absorb, so you get some health back. Unfortunately, MP Absorb does not work um, with uh, Auto Unique, but it does work with Auto Weapon Ability. Uh, but staying on Unique Ability first, there is, uh, like I mentioned before, auto cast as an important part with this ability, uh, with this material, because you can read that it says Tifa will also use unbridled strength when not actively controlled. Uh, so that's why I recommend that if you have it on Tifa, that you also have an auto cast uh, cure. Uh, that way, uh, when you have that, the AI will prioritize healing instead of uh, using unbridled strength, which can save your life. Uh, you don't want her to use unbridled strength when you don't, uh, when you actually need a heal or a revive. Um, so that will be my tip. 
So next I actually want to focus on auto weapon ability. As you can see I have it linked with MP absorption and this is really good for hard mode. It lets you basically get a lot of MP back for free but an important thing here with uh, auto weapon and auto unique is that the HP and MP absorb it will only work if the AI uses it on its own. You cannot command them or force them to do anything. They have to do it completely on their own for the effect the HP or MP absorb to work. But yeah, you can see here I have it uh, linked to his MP absorb on Barrett. And the reason I have that is if I go to the shortcuts, I have a, a maximum fury here. And it works just like you would expect. He gets one MP back for every single bullet fired, which is really, really powerful. It basically he basically has infinite MP almost. And if you want the AI to only use Maxima Fury, then you would just get rid of these. And then you have it uh, set up. And that's how I, how I do it. Also one important thing I want to note is that you can turn this on off and have more shortcuts so the AI can use more abilities. And also Aerial Onslaught, you don't learn it from an ability, but it is a weapon ability, the AI does use it. Uh, but one other thing I want to note is with Tifa. She has this ability, Trinity Strike. Now, I tried to get the AI to use this automatically and it works, but it also kind of doesn't. So the AI will use it and do the initial hit and then sometimes it will follow it up. Uh, with the first follow-up, but then the second one, it never happened. I even tried it on a staggered enemy and it didn't work. So just worth noting that Trinity Strike, it's better uh, for you to use it on your own and not have the AI do it. But it can sometimes get the second hit in. So that's just worth noting. So that's really kind of it. Overall, these materials are pretty good and I like them. And I hope that we get even more in part uh, 3 of the remake trilogy. And I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned. Uh, I definitely didn't know that you can link them, which I found not too long ago. Which is really useful and having them linked, it really allows you to use the AI in a different way. And to work together with the AI in a new way, which I think is really cool. But anyway. I'm going to end the video here, there's nothing much for me to say, I think. Overall, you can just experiment with these and have fun with them. So, thank you for watching, and until the next one.